Prevention of falls is hugely important for patients with Parkinson's disease. Uh, we know that sooner or later most patients with Parkinson's will start to fall um, and the prognosis of falling is bad. Um, people may injure themselves uh, and sometimes um, injuries can be so fatal uh, that a nursing home um, uh, admission is needed. Uh, and also uh, people may become fearful of renewed falls and thereby stop moving and when you're immobile, uh, this obviously has very uh, negative effects on Parkinson's itself. So false prevention is crucial. And um, I am convinced that uh, false prevention needs a multidisciplinary team approach. One player in the team is the neurologist. And the neurologist should carefully look whether the falls are related to a lack of dopamine, which is most, uh, mostly the case, or whether the falls are actually related to adverse effect of too much dopaminergic therapy. Think about dyskinesias, think about orthostatic hypotension caused by the medication, and, uh, and this can also lead to falls. So that's clearly the role of the neurologist. Another role for the neurologist is to carefully look at sedative medication, benzodiazepines. Uh, many patients use these, for example, to treat their sleep problems, but it has a negative effect on their balance and it is one of the most important risk factors for hip fractures in the Western world. So stopping benzodiazepines and other sedative drugs, if possible, is very important. In addition, there are many other members of the team that should be part. Uh, a physiotherapist is crucial uh, to improve gait, to look at freezing of gait. There is good evidence now that cueing is an effective way of treating freezing of gait. And freezing, in turn, is one of the dominant causes of falls in Parkinson's disease. So the physiotherapist is also very important. We always have an occupational therapist as part of the falls prevention team. They can look at domestic hazards, loose rugs on the floor, poor lighting in the house. Um, and many houses of patients are very crowded and jammed with furniture and other stuff. Um, and moving in tight quarters is an important risk factor for freezing. Um, so the uh, home visit by an occupational therapist is crucial. And then, of course, a rehabilitation specialist can coordinate the team uh, and look at other generic risk factors for falls, such as arthrosis um, or muscle weakness. Um, patients with Parkinson's are, of course, not exempt from normal age-related factors, and this also needs to be taken into account. So in summary, it's a, it's a multidisciplinary approach, looking at both Parkinson's-specific factors and generic risk factors for falls. Um, and taken together, that can reduce the frequency of falls. If prevention of falls eventually becomes impossible, which is in reality the case for some patients, then protective measures need to be taken. Protective measures to prevent injuries. And you can think about, for example, um, hip protectors, um, maybe shock absorbing floors in the house, um, and uh, even wearing a helmet. Um, and for some patients, um, um, maybe the advice to stop moving without support uh, becomes also crucial. Um, and then finally, um, walking aids um, can be important in a, in a final stage of the disease. Uh, and many patients, in my experience, need to be explained how they need to work with the wa walking aids. Uh, I've seen patients holding um, a wheeled relator in the, in the air rather than using it for support. So the physiotherapist or rehabilitation doctor should train the patients how to work optimally with their walking aids. And, and, and again, um, false prevention really is possible if you use this team approach.